Hello and welcome to our Visionary Leaders Collective. If you honor the gifts of the earth and love to learn about the medicine that the plants give us, you're in the right place. We, oh, oh you can go forward. <laughs> I was trying to advance this slide. <laughs> Uh, we have gifts for you. We have a beautiful website that has been a labor of love over the last few years, and it has everything you can need. All the oil education you want, all the business education you want, and of course, the community call archives are there. And I'll turn it over to you, Aisha. Thank you so much, Erin. Welcome to our Wednesday team call. This is the call we do every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And hello to all of you watching the recording, but we'd love it when you join us live. And we wanted to give you what is coming up. Next week, we have Lindsay Bodo talking about the aroma touch technique, which we're really excited about. We have Lindsay on the call right now. I want to say hi, Lindsay. And um, so definitely come to that. And then in May, we'll be sharing again our community collective call of tips for really one of the products of the month. So please come with your tips. We never know um, what that will be until we have the releases from doTERRA. And then May 11th, mark this on your calendar because we have asked Dr. Mika to come and be unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> so that is going to be full of wisdom and juicy nuggets that you are not going to want to miss. Um, May 18th, we are talking about the magic of convention. And I believe that is when the convention tickets go on sale. Please raise your hand if you're joining us at convention. We want to have a big, huge hug and love fest there. So we really hope you'll be joining us. And then May 25th, we are going to be talking about our new doTERRA sun products coming. So there is so much goodness to be had put the calls on your calendar and just join us every week. We want to give you our schedule at a glance. Um, if you are building a doTERRA business or you want to just have a time that you have some accountability and, and a work time with other leaders, join Lindsay and Nikki on Mondays at four o'clock. And then, of course, every Tuesday, we have different leaders teaching an intro to doTERRA essential oils class. So that's Tuesdays at 530 Pacific Standard Time. Of course, every Wednesday, again, we have our community call. And then please mark this on your calendars. The first Monday of every month, doTERRA is having an empowered success training. They have been fantastic. Raise your hand if you've been attending. Um, put it on your calendar so you don't forget and go and register for them. They are very relevant. We're, we're um, learning from uh, leaders from all over um, the world, from the company, and they're just really impactful and valuable. And then, of course, we have on the third Mondays of every month, Ariana Harley's Oils A to Z call, and she is joined by Drs. Mika. Um, Louise Rose and uh, Will Wan. So that is an excellent call. It's a deep dive into essential oils. Okay, and then just so you know, our upcoming teachers for the Tuesday class, we have Mandy Garber next Tuesday, and then May 3rd is Peggy Washburn, and then on May 10th, we have Dr. Josie Schmidt, just so you'll know. And if you've noticed, we've been putting awesome, fun bios and photos on the Visionary Leaders page. So take that information and share it on your social media and really help us promote these events. And who is joining the Spring Wellness Education Series? I want to thank everybody. There's a lot of people participating, so I'm not going to do a shout out of names, but we really appreciate the community coming together to teach these. Um, we have Oils for Every Age with Mandy Garber this coming Saturday, and that is at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Um, so that is early for us on the West Coast, but 10 a.m. Central time and 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, and take a screenshot of this, and then you can register on Eventbrite on the link below. Um, that will send you the link for the class. And if that time does not work for you, <laughs> Then the Butterfly Collective is also doing the same series, and that is 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that would be tonight. We have Michelle Hawkins teaching. Oh, no, no. Is that right? 
uh who's yeah the 20th no no i'm confused anyway take a screenshot of that <laughs> And okay, who's going to convention? We've been talking about this. We're excited. Again, if you do not have your ticket, tickets go on sale May 18th. You can pre-register to get in line. You're gonna wanna get your tickets and your hotel. For those of you coming for the first time, we will be staying at the Grand America. We will be hanging out by the pool or in the sauna or in the jacuzzi. So we'd love to meet you in the in-between times. So we really, really hope that you'll come and join us. We're really excited to be back in person. Okay, so I'm gonna hand it over to Erin and we are talking about self-care tips today. And I'm so excited to learn all the gems and jewels from our team. So Erin, I'm passing it over to you. Thanks, Aisha. So raise your hand if the last two years have been major. <laughs> yeah. Let's all take a deep breath and like, let it sink in what we have been through. When I really take a deep breath and feel it, I, I kind of want to cry, right? Has anybody else felt like they are not the same person? that they were. Yes. I know many of your stories. I know there's been sickness. There's been death. There's been divorces. There's been career changes. There's been relationships that have fallen apart, relationships that have been born. And so much has happened over the last two years. And even now they just announced that no more masks on airplanes, we're slowly emerging from this pandemic, yet we're still in it. It's just so much. And so I personally have had to lean in more deeply to my self-care than I ever have at any other time in my life. And Dr. Josie and Aisha and I, we have a little meeting that we do every month where we kind of talk about what we want these calls to be and what we think you all are starting to feel and needing. And we really thought, you know what, we've all picked up some tools over the last couple of years. And we would love to have a little time where we share them with one another. So I'm gonna kick us off and you can stop the PowerPoint, Aisha. I'm gonna kick us off with my favorite self-care that I've done, that I'm doing. And then I want to open it up to everyone to share. So before I do that, is there anyone that wants to come on camera that's not yet on camera? Because we love to see you. And if you have something you want to share, it can be helpful if you're over here with us so we can um, turn your camera on. So just feel free to put that in the chat or raise your hand. I think there's even a way if you raise your hand that I can just uh, allow you to talk. And that way you don't have to come on camera if you're, you know, not feeling camera ready. So for me, this is the biggest lesson I learned in the last two years as it uh, relates to my own self-care um, is the fact that I can't control other people, right? I cannot control what someone thinks, cannot control what someone does. I cannot control how someone acts, what they believe. I have no control over what other people do. And I have really, really leaned in to, I guess you could call it prayer, communication, relationship building with my higher power, my higher self, my divine self. There's you know a lot of ways that this can take form for different people, for some people, it might be God. For some people, it might be Kuan Yin. For some people, it might be Jesus. Maybe it's the universe. For me, it's been this connection to my higher self, like the person that I am not in physical form, the person that I am kind of closer to the creator and to the great spirit and the divine. And I have just learned that when I have a moment where I'm feeling out of control or I'm feeling scared or fearful or emotions are coming up, 
I put an oil on. Malama has been a big one. And I go to my journal and I write it all out in my journal, right? There's no rules in my journal. I don't have to hold anything back in my journal. And I just say it all there. And that has slowly become me talking to my divine self, my higher power. And that's been the biggest support to me over the last couple of years. So I'd like to hear what yours is. What self-care tips do you have for the community? Go ahead, Nikki, and then Virginia. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here. I love this call. Self-care is just so important. And just having a self-care practice has been so life-changing for me to be conscious about the fact that I have to, no one else is going to make the time for me, but I have to claim the time for self-care. And one of my things that I'm the most proud of that has really changed and solidified for me over the last three years is my meditation practice. And it started with a coaching session that I had with Tiffany Peterson, where I was talking about, it was a business coaching session. And I went into all the things that I'm not doing and all the things that I think are wrong with me. And she took me back to basics and said, what are you going to do about your self-care? That's different. And in that moment, I just made a decision that I was going to meditate every day. And it took me, I was 15 years off and on meditation. I would do the Deepak Chopra and Oprah 21 day meditation challenges. I would never get all 21 days consecutive, but I would always complete that. But for some reason, it just never stuck. And so I started using an app called Insight Timer. I don't know, put it in the chat if anyone else uses Insight Timer I'd be, or another um, one that you use. And I started with a really small goal for myself. It was big to me, but also very doable, was 30 days. I wanted to just meditate for 30 days. And about 17 days in, I saw that the insight timer at the end of my meditation, it popped up and it said, you have now completed 17 consecutive days. And competition is high in my strengths. And so for me, it, it lit me up and I just thought, okay, I have to see that say 30. And in my mind, I knew I had to see it say 30, 60, 90. And um, it has been the best accountability partner that I've ever had. Uh, most days, you know, if you're new to meditation or meditation is something that you've wanted to add to your practice, Insight Timer is great. It's free. You can do a paid one, but you can get so much out of the free, free one. And they have guided meditation. They have sound healing. They have courses, right? They have at every kind of meditation that you could want. But for with my love of essential oils, I usually just go to my oil box in the morning and see what I need and grab an oil. It's quite often breathe, still one of my go-tos. Um, and I just sit down with the oil and I'll, I'll, I'll use the first two minutes of meditation just to breathe. And then I just try and be quiet. And now I think I should have looked on my timer, but I think I'm on day 1170 something. So from 15 years of off and on, off and on, couldn't get the habit to stick. Um, this, oh yeah, 1,179 consecutive days. And I really credit that to the Insight Timer. Wow, that's great, Nikki. Thanks for sharing that. And I put the Insight Timer link in the chat if you wanna grab it. Uh, Virginia, you're next. Hey, thank you. Yes, um, well, all of those that have already been said, um, I, uh, I was raised Catholic, so I always thought that I had a strong, strong faith. And what I have found out um, through a program I've been belong to for the last 10 years is that, um, yeah, I've got a strong faith, but I was not practicing it. And by that, I mean, you know, when I was praying, it was, give me this, you know, I'll, I'll negotiate with you you know, I'll do this if you give me this, you know, type of a thing. And now I, I no longer pray. I don't call it praying. I call it, I, first thing in the morning, I have a conversation with my higher power, which is God. 
And every night before I go to bed, I go to sleep. I um, have a conversation, you know, thanking him, you know, um, you know, for giving me another day, for helping me get through the day that has just passed, uh, whatever might have happened. You know, a lot of conversations in between morning and night as well. I also do the meditation. I do mostly the Deepak Chopra, and I have several of, of his that I uh, listen to. One helps me sleep, and definitely uh, sleep was a big self-care for me because I, um, I was having difficulties with that. And um, doTERRA has helped me tremendously. The serenity, the uh, I diffuse it, I take the tablets or the little gel caps, um, you know, and um, just, just when it's overwhelming to me to get out, I, I don't care what kind of weather it is, to get out and um, enjoy the nature, you know, seeing the beauty that is still out there. I'll tell you, one of my other biggest self cares for me has been I have not watched TV in over two and a half years since shortly after this started, this pandemic started, because it was just getting so overwhelming and so negative, and I didn't know what to believe and who, to, what channels to listen to. I mean, it just too much, too much, too much. So no, I don't have my head stuck in the sand. Um, if I do want to know something, I can Google it. You know, and I've got some trusted uh, sites and I've got trusted people who are in the know, um, I, I feel are in the know that I can call and I can ask and we can debate, but I'm not going to be judged and I'm not judging them. You know, so, um, you know, it is, um, you know, the adaptive for me has been my absolute, absolute necessity. Um, I carry the rollerball with me constantly. Um, I, right now I'm diffusing Malama, but um, adaptive is one that I uh, diffuse a lot um, throughout my day. And, um, and the, the healthy habits, oh my goodness, where would I be without the healthy habits? So um, that, that's pretty much for me, you know, along with the, the other things, you know, like Epsom salt baths and, and um, <laughs> getting together with friends, keeping that connection, you know, and now I'm so excited that we can do a little bit more of that on one-on-one uh, -on -one instead of, you know, Zoom face-to-face, -face, you know, so I'm really looking forward to convention, my very first one, so, okay. All right, that's Thank, all. You, Thank you, Virginia. That's fabulous, and if anyone listening is wondering what is the healthy habits the healthy habits is a protocol designed by dr david hill approved by the naturopathic physicians on our team and we've done some calls on it 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 is great it's the foundation so if you're wondering how can i get the most out of my doTERRA products start with the healthy habits uh, routine i'm coming to linda nielsen go ahead yes hi i'm in chico and I've been using doTERRA since 2011 and doing it as a business. And what I do is almost daily, I go to Upper Park here in Chico, California and take a hike. And sometimes it's alone. And uh, when it's alone, um, sometimes I have a conversation with God and sometimes I cry. And uh, oftentimes it's with a friend of mine who's a neighbor and uh, we really enjoy each other's company and we talk and we enjoy seeing the dogs that pass. Uh, but what happens to me when I drive up to the park and the minute I see the sky and the grasses and the trees and, and the cliffs, it, it just uplifts my mood. It's just amazing, just absolutely amazing. I think we need to get out in nature every single day. Uh, another thing that I do, uh, I often do take a nice hot bath and I use lots of grounding oils and lots of those are really good for the skin. So I use frankincense and copaiba and myrrh and juniper berry, those sorts of things uh, on my face and decolletage and arms. 
And uh, before I go to bed, I have a peace and a rose touch at my bedside. And I have discovered a way to go to sleep that's just amazing. Uh, you know, sometimes you're thinking about, did I do this? Did I do that? Am I, what am I going to do tomorrow? And then you stop and you tell yourself, I don't need to think about this right now. And I just close my eyes and my eyes are positioned as if I'm looking, but my eyelids are closed and I just wait for the colors. And it's amazing. And pretty soon these amazing pictures, these, this art, nature, all sorts of things come up and they warp and morph into different things. And I just try not to think about what it's going to be and what it's going to do and why I'm seeing it. And it's just seconds that I'm asleep. That's awesome, Linda. I love that practice. I too have been doing, been doing um, uh, Whoops, I don't know why there's an echo. Let me see if that's better. Uh, Self-hypnosis before bed. And it's a lovely way to go to sleep. We're gonna come to Rebecca Saltman now. Um, yes to everything that's been said and adaptive has saved my pasty white one. Um, I, I don't, I mean, that is the miracle product of the, of the world, I think. Um, but I, I wanted to share a quick uh, practice that I've been doing. Um, it's if, if people are up for it, I'll do it very quickly with y'all. And the idea is um, that we don't really understand how expansive we are, like how big our energy is and how big we actually are. And so we think if, if we think of it, it's just in our body, then we get all stuck with the little nits and ticks and whatever. But if we realize how big, you know, how huge and expansive we are, we actually, those things don't matter. Those things don't bother us. So if, if you're up for it, close your eyes and feel your big left toe. Wiggle it if you feel like it and the energy there and also feel your right shoulder and feel the top of your head and your belly and realize that's not it. <laughs> and then ripple out your energy, ripple it out so big that you can touch your ceiling while your tush is on the seat. You can knock on your front door while you're still sitting in the same place and maybe you can go catch a quick nap at the same time. And then ripple out again. And while you're rippling out again, breathe in and breathe out and then go knock on your neighbor's front door. And they greet you, but your tush is still in your seat. And then get even bigger and go to your favorite hot beverage place and feel that chai going down your throat. <laughs> and you're still sitting where you're sitting. And now get as big as your town, breathe in, breathe out, and ripple out again. Get as big as your state, breathe in, breathe out. Come knock on my front door. I'm knocking on Aaron and Aisha's door. If you guys can hear me. And then get as big as the United States or whatever country you're in, breathe in, breathe out, and then as big as the globe. And if you feel ready, open your eyes. And when you're that expanded, you don't, the little things are not there. They don't exist. And it's been so magical to play there because then I'm like oh that's not so worrisome right now <laughs> anyway I hope you liked it thanks Rebecca feels great just makes me want to meditate forever <laughs> okay Lindsay Bodo your turn hi everybody morning here and yeah I love this topic and so much wisdom has already been shared and I was reflecting, Erin, on your comment about not being the same people we were. And I think 
for me and my personal understanding and belief is that we carry threads of who we are. We carry central values and beliefs that don't tend to change. And we also get to upgrade and evolve. And in truth, living happens in this moment. Sometimes some of us are really high in context and we tend to have a lot of memories and associations and pulling everything forward from the past. Some of us are very visionary focused and very futuristic and tend to end up like living way ahead of ourselves. And so a huge part of my practice has been um, actually the practice of who do I wanna be in this moment? And one of the biggest transformations for me in the last year and a half, I guess, was actually reading the book Atomic Habits. And this comes back to our doTERRA business, our doTERRA practice, our community building, because it comes back to how do I wanna show up? How do I wanna identify? And what are the daily actions that I'm taking? Am I in congruency? Am I aligned with who I wanna be and how I wanna show up or am I not? And rather than being a good, bad, right, wrong kind of situation, it's just, holding the vision and then narrowing in towards that vision of how we wanna be and getting to center. So for me, what I realized was like, oh, I have knowledge of oils. I have knowledge of supplements. I know why they're beneficial. I, I even buy them. I help other people buy them. And am I using them as much as the person I wanna be would do so? Because the power comes in to what nervous state or nervous system state are we in? And we've talked a lot about that in different calls. So part of the reason that things like serenity and adaptive and malama are coming up is because these tools can help us center our nervous system so that we are coming from that more expansive, fully alert, fully present state rather than a place of fear. And so for me, my question is then, okay, how can I create a container that helps me show up this way. And so I've been finding that the, if you have not read the book Atomic Habits yet, I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend thinking, okay, how can I use these principles in alignment with my oils? Because when it comes to habits, we have a cue, a habit and a reward. That reward is how we feel after practicing the habit. So a classic example would be you see a McDonald's sign, you have the cue of the big yellow M or the place in town that you are. You might not even have passed it, but it's like, oh, I'm a block away, My, I'm salivating for salt, right? And then you might eat the thing and then how do you feel afterwards? Well, I've trained myself that when I eat kind of lower quality, heavier, less quality ingredient food, I don't feel very well. So I don't even think of it as food anymore because it doesn't fuel me uh, for the most part, not exclusively, but for the most part. So the question becomes though, like how do we set up healthy cues that promote the habit we want? How do we architect our own habits? So with that, I've realized that location matters, order of actions matter, the visual cue matters, the associations of things matter. And especially important for me has been habit stacking where one action leads into another. And that way you just start going into the flow of the routine. And for those of us who have a lot of ideas and we could be like, oh my God, there's 15 different options here. What do I choose next? By creating an intentional routine of a habit, we don't have to put that mental worry into ah, I'm feeling pulled in all these directions because it's just a flow of what's next. So for me, when it comes back to the doTERRA products, I've been starting with, well, one, gratitude and an oil on my bedside table. But after I get up, the very first thing I'm doing is actually an oral health routine using my on guard toothpaste using my, um, I call it my party in my mouth of the on guard um, of mouthwash. And then I'm going in and then it's a whole routine of the next steps. So I am using things like an affirmations app while I do my Pilates exercises. And then I'm going into loading the diffuser while I make my coffee. So if we compare these things together, I used to be horrible turning on my diffuser every day, right? Like I'd only think of it here and there. But because my diffuser is now literally beside my hot water pot, I fill the hot water for my coffee and I fill my diffuser at the same time. So hopefully that gets you thinking along the lines of how can I set myself up for success by placing things where they're easy to use. And, and what those things are, you know, 
approach your upline, say, hey, let's do a wellness consult. I want to develop some healthy routines that are going to suit me. Um, I can tell you what I do that may or may not be what is right for you, but I can say absolutely adaptive and copaiba, especially for the bedtime routine has been really, really huge in our household. So thank you for your time. Thanks, Lindsay, for those great shares. And we are going to move on to the second section of our call now. So I appreciate everybody who shared their self-care routines and please like, let's keep it going. Maybe we'll start a thread in essential wellness and we can share them for people who weren't on the call. So I have just a couple of uh, announcements as we move into our business section. So this is the joy of sharing doTERRA. If you've been loving the products and having great results, you might be thinking, I want to share these products. So there is an income opportunity for you that many of us take advantage of and we just love. Quick announcement about Diamond Club. If you've done Diamond Club in the past, um, you know, raise your hand or put some hearts. They're doing it different this year. This year it's for gold to platinum. So it's a really get to diamond club. And currently your blue diamond upline can nominate you. So Aisha and I, um, I'm sure Eliza also would like to know if you want to do diamond club. So go ahead and take a look at it at doTERRA.com under the diamond club qualifications, and then reach out to us if you are gold or platinum and you would like to do diamond club. Okay, next slide. Who is coming to the launch day workshop on Sunday? Yay, we're gonna have so much fun. I want to make sure that you know what this is about and what to expect. And this is my um, just little nudge to please come. And my challenge to you is to bring two people. Don't just come by yourself because this business is not done alone, it's done with a team. You are going to be guided by myself, Eliza Yoshida, and Diane Del Reyes, all Diamond and Above leaders. Um, the other two ladies besides myself are Diamond Club graduates. Eliza is a Diamond Club first place winner and a founder 2.0. So these trainers have lots of skills to share with you. It's a three hour workshop, but don't worry, you will not be watching three hours of presentations we are going to get into action. We are going to get to work. You will come off of this workshop with people coming to classes and people being curious about the business. So if you haven't registered, please do. It will be recorded, and put up on our website, and then we will do it again in June. But I would highly recommend you come to this one and um, come play with us. Okay, next slide. We are going to introduce our next speaker, Nikki Dean. She is a gold leader. And Nikki is going to be um, speaking to how you can win the incentive trip. So Nikki's top strength is positivity, which you will tell from just spending any time with her. She has won the incentive trip, so she knows what she's talking about. And she is a joyful, joyful friend and I can't wait for you all to learn from her so Aisha if you could stop the share then Nikki you can take it away and I know you have your own presentation yes thank you for that really sweet introduction Erin I feel so honored to be sharing this today and um, yes positivity is my number one strength and one of my biggest surprises when I took the strengths test was that I didn't see competition in my top five because I love to win things. I don't even care what the prize is. I just like the feeling of winning. I don't necessarily like to compete against other people. I'm kind of self-driven to compete against myself, but I really like winning. And so as I opened up my full strengths, I did find that competition is my top 10 and that made a lot more sense. So I thought I would share with you, um, things have changed a little bit from the year that I won the incentive trip, but I thought I would talk to you about the incentive trip. We've got some really great things that are built in to help us move forward with the incentive trip. 
and make it a little bit easier to win. And I'll talk a little bit about Founders Club also because the points you get for one thing will be the points you get for everything. So I'm gonna try and share my screen. Now I have to confess that I have just switched to a Mac like a couple of days ago and I'm still getting used to using it. So hopefully this is going to work. Oh, not that one, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with this sh uh, short screen share. And then I thought I'm actually gonna leave my PowerPoint. And I thought we would walk through some of the back office together. Um, sorry, I'm trying to see, oops. Are you seeing my, I can't see you and me at the same time. So hopefully you're seeing this in the chat. We but... are not seeing your screen, Nikki. Oh, you're not seeing my screen mm -hmm. share? Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Do you see, do you see it now? No. Okay. Hold on a second again. Let me share screen. While you're working on that, Nikki, I just have to say, I'm so excited for you figuring out a new, uh, computer because I know that's been a long time coming for you and it's so empowering once you're up to speed you're going to be on fire. <laughs> Thank you Lindsay I might not be able to share my screen which will be uh, taking me to all plan b of my presentation. <laughs> you have to on, screen. Click on your present screen and when you share screen I think there's two things you click. Um, One, well I, it was yeah, well, um, I got this scare, share screen part, but when I try and get it to share on Keynote, um, it's not, it's going to my system preferences. I don't want to waste it's, all that. Yeah, I think you have to move on. It's probably because uh, there needs to be, Zoom has to be allowed, and that might need to be something you do somewhere else. Okay. Last well, thing, sorry. Mm -hmm. Do you That's have okay. Um, this is plan B. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to look at some of my notes and then um, everything is always working out for me. So we'll figure it all out together. We'll just have to talk through it. So um, the, what is the incentive trip? First of all, the incentive trip is coming up. For, um, it's a trip to Tulum in Mexico. And it will be the qualification period is March 1st through August 31st, and it's all a point system. You need a minimum of 125 points, and the um, and then you can go up to the, the grand prize winner is 500 points, the first person that gets there. And then the trip is gonna be on February 6th through 10th in 2023. So, sorry, I'm gonna stop that. Um, so, that's the very first thing you need to know is what are you playing for, right? What is the incentive trip? So what happens when you go on the incentive trip is that you spend a week with the founders, with the top leaders, with cross-line people, with people who have won the trip, with people who have just decided they wanted to make it a priority to go on the trip. You're in a high vibration space. Um, I wish I could share my pictures because I had a few pictures of, of me and Emily. I, can I tell you the value of the, one of the one of the events that goes on at the incentive trip is there's a volleyball tournament and each of the founders has their own team. So my husband, Dan, and I ended up on Emily Wright's team and my husband is a very good volleyball player. I am a very inconsistent volleyball player, but I'm always willing to try and have fun. And we ended up having a private joke with Emily that she was gonna trade me to Dr. Hill. And there was a little rivalry, rivalry between Emily and Dr. Hill and she was gonna keep my husband on her team. The value for my confidence in having a little private joke with Emily Wright is through the roof. That's worth every minute that I invested into planning classes, following up with people, pushing myself outside my comfort zone, tracking and seeing where are my points, having those moments of, oh my God, I'm not gonna make it. How can I come this far and not make it? All of that goes away when you're standing on the beach, joking around with Emily Wright, right? When you get to go to fireside chats in the evening and sit there and talk to, people that you're watching on big screens all the time, like Laura Jacobs, having 
intimate conversations around a fire pit with her and hearing other people's questions, this is going to help you on a personal level, on a professional level, on an energetic level. There are so many reasons to be there. Uh, we got to when I was there, and I am going to talk about some strategies on how to get there, but I want to build up your belief in why you want to be there. Um, when I first went to this trip, I didn't know very many people on our team. And Grand Aisha Harley was coming along. And to me, that was like out of this world to get to sit and have dinner with Aisha. And there was another winner from our team there, Amanda as well. And we just, it was just pure joy. It's really pure joy. And when you accomplish something like this, that you set out with a little dream, let's see what can happen. And you see yourself making it. Again, that alone will boost your confidence to keep you going on the days where it where it's tough. So I hope, oh, and then the cross line. I, I want to talk a little bit more about the cross line relationships because you get to meet people that when you go to convention, there's 30,000 people there. And it you do meet people, but it's a hi bye, you know, maybe you have a 10, 20, 30 minute conversation or or a lunch or a dinner. But when you're on a trip and everyone is going from the pool to maybe taking out a sailboat, windsurfing, all of the stuff is included. It's a all expenses paid vacation. So you develop these relationships in this place where you're having pure fun and you can continue to grow together once you come home. So let's talk a little bit about where you are. And I had really hoped I would be able to share my screen, but if you are someone who can multitask, I'm gonna do this on my phone so that I follow along with what I was saying. But um, if you go into your back office in your-, Nikki, in your how about yeah. I bring it up on the screen? Oh, that would be so great, Erin. Okay. So you'll just have to bring up your back office. That's fine, I can do that. And I'm curious, let's even put in the chat now, who has already started to uh, work on their qualification or raise your hand if you're, if you're on camera, who's already started to work on their qualifications for the incentive trip and who knows where they're at, right? If you know where you're at, please put it in the chat box. How many points do you have for the incentive trip so far? If you don't know, I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. So. Um, Aaron, if you go ahead and click on your back office. And then on the right hand side there, you see there's two tabs there. She clicked on the incentive. Back. Um, that's okay. We're going to go through both of them. So you see Founders Club and then Incentive Trip. So if you click on Incentive Trip, this is going to take you into your main dashboard where it is still gonna show you Founders Club, but it goes to the same place. And here's where you can see Erin's got a hundred and, oh, so I'll start with incentive trip, five points towards, towards her incentive trip and 116 and a half points towards Founders Club. So the incentive trip, woohoo, go Erin. I know I looked at mine this morning. I'm at, I'll share mine. I'm at 11 for the incentive trip and 108 for the Founders Club, which is funny because my goal for Founders Club is to be the 108th founder. So I'm declaring it here. I never give up. I'll keep trying or better, right? Okay, so when you go into the incentive trip, you see there your personal points. Erin clicked on that your personal points, and Erin, you might not want to click on that because it's going to show people's names if you, so just don't scroll down okay. on okay. this page. Um, so you can see you get, or you can scroll down a little bit to um, just not below. Oh yeah, this page is fine. Sorry, I was on the wrong page. Okay, so here is where you can see you get points for rank advancements for your personal rank advancements. I'll show you the breakdown of the points in just a second. You get points for your personal enrollments and for people being on LRP. And then if you're in, this is where it's changed. It used to only be your points were for enrollments and loyalty rewards orders for up to three months. Now it's two months of enrollment. It's one month of enrollment, two months of LRP, you get one point each. So with you, then your enrollees, as they grow, you will grow. So what is that amazing saying is the more people you help get what they want, 
the faster you'll get what you want, right? And everybody's happy. So helping somebody in that you have enrolled personally to rank advance, to get their power of three to 50, or to get their empowerment bonus for the first time. Remember, empowerment bonus is if you are elite or premier. Um, if you're elite, you have to have personally enrolled at least one member for premier. No, for elite and premier, it's one member. And for silver, it's two members to get your empowerment bonus. Okay, so Aaron, if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll see where it says, what is the incentive trip? How to earn points? If you click on that for me, and again, I know I could have done screenshots of all of this into a PowerPoint, but I thought I wanted you, those of you who are hopefully following along on your own back office, that you can remember how to get back to this stuff. So here's how you earn points. Just as I said, you can get your personal points, 100 PV orders. Remember, that's the magical order, a magical number for your order. And then you get one point each for each of those and for their first uh, months of LRP, month one and month two. So that's three per person. But your points go much faster when you look at rank advancements and power of three. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see here that as you personally rank advance, look at how many more points you're getting. So if you're hitting elite for the first time, you hit that three times, you have almost half the amount of points you need for the 125 to qualify right? It's 150 to earn it for you and a, and a friend or your partner, which I highly recommend bringing your partner or someone that you're trying to woo along with you on this trip will change their perception of what doTERRA is doing and why they want to be a part of it. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, you, you'll see the breakdown you have your, this is when your personal enrollees advance this is where you get points. So again, the biggest points are for rank adv advancement, but you also get three points each time they qualify for their power of three, 250 for the first time. And what's so great about this, you also, when they're getting their 250, you're probably getting your 1500, right? And then their empowerment pool. So um, empowerment bonus. So you can get another three points per person for that. So these can really add up. Um, okay, Aaron, if you can go back to the um, to your screen where the um, your office is. Yeah, there you go. And so you want to just um, I, I don't want her to click around too much in here because it, it will show her personal people's names and I don't want to violate anybody's privacy, but have a look in here, look around at your incentive trick trip, keep track of it. Right. And while we're here, Aaron, why don't you go back and let's just show the Founders Club as well, because all your points are double dipping. So whatever points you get for your incentive trip are also going to work for your uh, for your Founders Club. And look, there's 177 places still available. Everyone is still in this. Right. If you are a brand new person, you might have it easier than someone who's been here for a while because you have brand new people who can rank advance. And remember, rank advancements are a really big way to get your points moving faster. So um, if you click on your Founders Club there, um, Aaron, well, what I want to show you here, which is really helpful in the Founders Club, is um, if you scroll down a little bit here. Um, oh, I might, this might not be the right page. So anyway, you can see here again, how to earn points. Um, if you scroll up there, you can see, it will tell you exactly what, what rank advancement you have to get to, what power of three you need. And if you go back to that main page where it had both your uh, founders club and yeah, you've got a power of three tracker. And if you scroll up a little bit here, um, the other way, uh, go to the, that's, yes, right, nope, sorry, go to the top of the page, I'm sorry, it's, uh, that's, oh, where it says business, that's where I was looking for, yeah, yeah, so your business, here's great tools for those of you who need it, right, it clicks you right into your back office, you can have your power of three tracker, your link generator, does everybody know about the link generator, right, your link generator 
is where you can send a personalized cart to someone. It makes it so easy for them to sign up with the products that you were talking about together. You create custom charts. If you have a website and you have, say, a blog on spring cleaning and detoxifying cleaning, you could embed right in there a cart to get a whole kit on uh, healthy cleaning products. Or if you want, or you're talking about the Aroma Touch training kit, right? You can customize this to you and everyone can use that kit. So we can go ahead and exit out of here, Erin. And um, I'll just talk to you again and I'm gonna try and look at my keynote here again for a second. Okay, so one of the things with your, uh, with the incentive trip, first of all, everything goes back to pipes, right? No matter what we're talking about, all of your steps go back to pipes. Prepare, invite, present, enroll, support. So I wanna talk mostly about preparing and preparing starts with you, right? First of all, does this interest you? Does it get you excited to win things? Can you, maybe you don't like competition, but you like the idea of sitting around a fireside chat with Laura Jacobs. Maybe you don't like competition, but you have someone on your team who does, right? Maybe you do like competition and that's inspiring for you. So prepare yourself by preparing your belief level first. Do you believe in the challenge? Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe you have the supports that you need to get there, right? If any of those things are a no, then look for support where you need it and look at that as your preparation. Because if you don't get prepared in that way, all of your action is going to feel twice as heavy. And if you can use your strengths, right, maybe it's time before you start going further in this to reach out to your upline and ask them for a strengths coaching session. If they don't know how to do that, ask them to reach up to someone above them who does and learn to understand what your strengths are so that you can move forward in this competition in a way that is fun, that is exciting, that is engaging for you and not draining on your energy. And that will inspire other people without making them think that they have to do it the same way. And then with your preparing, you know, a couple of things to think about are making lists. So I would first start with a list of your top customers who orders every, every month. And I would reach out to all of those customers. And first of all, just check in or clients, you can call them clients, right? Check in with them, see how they're doing, what's going up, what's coming up for them and invite them to the earn the gather and give promo that's going with the Yarrow Palm and the, uh, rose facial body mist, a uh, rose facial mist. Now, I'm sorry, I had a really good slide about that. So that one is if they host a class, so you can invite them to host the class. And if they host a class, and I would, I would do incentives for everything that you do. And this is part of your preparation is look at what do you have excess on hand to give? before you start to spend any more money. And sometimes that might be things of your time, like a symphony of the cells or an aroma touch. So we have these promotional products that doTERRA is giving, but I would add to them. So you ask people, I know that you like to order every month. Would you be interested? They have this great promo now. If you host a class and you get three of your friends to enroll, you're gonna get a free Yarrow Palm body serum. You're going to get the full size of it, right? The full size Yarrow Palm body serum. And if you get five of your friends to enroll, you're also going to get the Rose Facial Mist, which is an exclusive product. You can't buy that product. So a lot of people like things that are exclusive. So if you can get them to host the class with that incentive and they start getting people to show up, well, first of all, if they're moving from a customer to a wholesale advocate, then you can now move this person who does a regular loyalty order and you can be working your power of three bonus and helping other people work your power of three bonus through this way, through this, not, not hey, quit your job, start a business with me. Hey, host a class, just get three of your friends, five of your friends to sign up and you get these great uh, gifts as well. I also love the, I got this from Elise Shedevy, the back to basics of giving the keychain. 
If you ho sign up to host a class, I give you this keychain. For every butt you get in the seat, I fill one of those vials, regardless of whether or not anyone enrolls, right? So you want to reward them regardless or not of the results. And then, you know, something else you can think about. So, and they, and you can repeat that. You have April, May, and June to earn this promo. So it goes along perfectly with this incentive challenge. It, you, you can you utilize it. And then if you have a lot of stuff in your, in your, um, in your reservoir, right? Look at what you have, throw in a free oil, throw in oils for enrollment on the spot, throw in a little, you know, and then what I would do also is have a month loyalty month one, loyalty month two, also reward gifts as well. So month one might be like, for me, I give the advanced oil magic book. I give everybody a welcome gift with empty roller bottles and empty spray bottles. So they start using their products. Month two, I like to give a personal diffuser and some special oils or oil blends that I make personally for them. Another strategy that can be really helpful. So use that strategy. If you have more questions about gather and give, just reach out and ask. Um, one last piece on gather and give is that doTERRA is offering right now mini bundles that you can purchase if you don't have a lot of stock to give away. And they have uh, mini mouthwashes, mini balanced deodorants, and mini blue, deep blue tubes that are still available. The Serenity Mist and the Body Butter are already sold out. But you get like five of those for $15, $18, something like that, depends on the product. And then one other strategy that you may not have been doing yet that I am going to be doing myself starting in May is a reactivation promo. So if you have a lot of inactive customers on your team, I'm going to be doing this with my team is look again, I'm going with what I have. I'm stocked up from BOGOs. So I'm going with all of my BOGO stuff and I'm just saying it's first come first serve reactivate with a 100 PV loyalty order. And there's a very, there's very specific steps that you have to follow so that you send a letter to reactivate so I can place you in the right spot. And then you get a free oil for me or two oils and you just pick on from the grab bag that I have. So uh, one final thing I'll throw in there is that as you're doing your preparing, think about what type of classes are seasonal and relevant to your community, right? Like I mentioned spring cleaning, my cooking with essential oils is always a popular class. New moon or full moon classes, Erin makes it so easy with her blends that she's already putting out for us. Um, People like to detox in the spring. People get into their gardens, right? Whatever season you're in, what makes the most sense? So I hope that was kind of on track. I was a little lost without my uh, technology working, but I'll pause. I know we're almost at the time. I hope that was helpful. Questions or anyone have anything I didn't say that you want to share? And I want to check the chat now. I want to know who's got points for the incentive trip and how many do you have? Go ahead, Aisha. All I want to say here is thank you, Nikki, for that inspiration, is that if you're simply building your business and doing the work, then you will automatically begin to apply for all of these programs. So just keep that in mind. It's really about just doing the daily tasks, about sharing about teaching classes about getting people on LRP and this is really I mean this can be a great motivator to do all of that but it's really just a huge bonus for building our business so thank you for that reminder that's one of the things that I really appreciate appreciate about the changes that doTERRA has made to the qualifications, because as someone who's a top enroller, I can win top enroller things. So this is really forcing me to stretch into being a leader and, you know, making my, if you do the things that you need to do to win this competition or even to come close to it you will be building such a solid foundation for your own organization. Yeah, so great, Nikki. A couple, I'd like to add just a couple of things. Um, I'll take less than 60 seconds and it's some um, take action items. So go into your back office, look at your team. If you have someone 
who is one person away from their $50 bonus, or you have someone who is $10 away from their $50 bonus, whatever, they're two people away. Don't assume that they know that. Oftentimes I'm reaching out to people and I'm saying, did you know that you're X, Y, Z from getting your $50 bonus? And more times than not, they say, I am? I had no idea. Then you can, with permission-based languaging, ask them, if I were to help you get your $50 bonus, would you be open to that idea? Then once you have their permission, then you get to mentor them. Then you get to say, let's do a class. Let's get on the phone and do three-way calls, what, what all the things are. Um, same with people who are just a couple hundred dollars away or even a couple thousand dollars away from a rank advancement. Oftentimes, just the phone call that says, did you know that you're $800 away from elite? And then the guidance to help them get there can make all the difference. So I just wanted to point that out, that that's sometimes the role of a leader is to invite them to walk through a doorway that they may or may not know the doorway is there and you are the person who can help them understand how to walk through it. So wouldn't it be fun if a whole group of us went to Tulum this year? I'm gonna put that on my vision board. I would love to be there with you all. And I second what Nikki said, there's conversations that happen at the incentive trip that happen nowhere else. I still remember Aisha and I in a van with Rob Young, and we got to talk to him about our favorite product, Slim and Sassy. And we got to learn the history behind it. And we got to share Aisha's story with him, which he loved to hear. So these conversations happen at the incentive trip. It's worth it um, to do the work to get there. So I appreciate you, Nikki, for giving us that motivation to go and look at our points and put it on our vision board and make it happen. Thank All right, you. everyone. Thanks, yeah, everyone. you're welcome. I hope you all have a fabulous week. I can't wait to see you on Sunday. Remember, if you didn't sign up for the launch date, sign up for it, even if you can't be live because you'll get the recording first thing. And if you are coming to the launch day, your challenge is to bring two people with you. I did a three-way call yesterday to commit a new uh, business partner. And I love three-way calls. They're so fun. So I wish my phone was ringing off the hook more with three-way calls. Put me and I should have worked. Make it so that we're doing three-way calls every day and let's launch some new builders. Okay, bye everybody. Thank you, thank you.